Do you guys ever dream of a garden which stays green and colorful all year long without lifting a finger? Well, I can't help much with that dream, but I can definitely help you select some plants in your garden which will bring you closer to that dream. Hi, this is Ruchi and today we are going to talk about red hot poker or torch lilies. So this is one of those hardy plants that you plant once and they keep producing these beautiful flowers year after year and uh, they keep multiplying. Uh, they attract hummingbirds because of the flower flute. Let me, if I can focus, you know, they insert their beaks in these flowers and get the nectar out of it. As I was shooting here, I just caught some hummingbirds on camera. This is so cool. You can plant these bulbs in spring and they grow into a uh, two to three feet tall bush like this. Plant them in full sun with good drainage. It is a perennial plant in most zones and the flowers are red, orange and yellow. It's the beginning of summers. The plants are doing great. And now I see red hot poker buds poking their heads. And look at uh, these buds growing so tall. Within few days, they have grown really tall. At least six inches they have grown. Look at these now. Slowly they are getting the color. These plants are deer resistant and also drought tolerant. But you should still water them daily in hot days. In summers, they start to grow tall flower stalks that turn from green to orange to red. Make sure you water them consistently once they start to bloom. The flowers start to bloom from the bottom and you can see the transition from green to orange to red to yellow and then brown. So once your flowers start to dry up like this, you want to cut this stalk away so that if there are more blooms to come, you're not spending energy in making seeds here. In fact, uh, the plant will make energy in making new flowers. So you go as low as possible and just cut those up. So, you know, they have, the tops are still red. So I'm just kind of leaving them, but in a week or so, I'll cut all these off. So this one, you know, even the top is kind of dry. So I'll go all the way to the bottom and cut it here. So basically all the dried one you want to remove so that the plants can spend energy on making more blooms and not on seeds. So I have cut down all the flower stalks because they are almost dead and then I don't want these plants to produce seeds and not store energy for the next season. As winter starts to set in, some leaves start to turn yellow as you can see here. I am in zone 9b. In colder climates, the leaves may die completely. Since it is looking a little unwieldy, I am going to trim it down. So I have trimmed it so that you know, all the dead leaves and yellow leaves and old leaves are gone. And now the fresh growth will come. And hopefully we'll have beautiful flowers in the summers. So we pruned this about a month ago and there's a lot of new growth. And we have come full circle. As you can see that this is a great perennial plant to have in your garden. In warmer climate, 
you know they look like a grass bush all year long and then in summer they produce these tall beautiful flowers that attract hummingbirds you don't need to do anything except just keep watering them and if you fertilize them in spring or in fall that will be great but you don't really need to so it is pretty much maintenance free so i hope this video was useful to you if you have any questions leave a comment and i'll try to answer as soon as possible if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share it with your friends and family and i'll see you next time happy gardening bye